Ontario's Western University may brag about some impressive figures. It provides 400 specialties, has 12 colleges, and gets more than $200 million in external research funding every year. Notably, the university has the first hexagonal wind tunnel in the world and is a pioneer in climate research. 106 movable fans that can replicate storms and tornadoes are part of this wind tunnel, which is housed in a separate structure with two domes that are 40 and 25 meters in diameter. These tests help determine the best ways to manufacture wind turbines and improve the ability of communities to withstand severe weather. This is especially important for the U.S., as Hurricane Harvey alone cost Texas $125 billion in damages. What makes Gothenburg intriguing? It is, in fact, Sweden's second most populous city. It recently installed these car charging stations and hosted the Eurovision Song Contest in 1985. Let's discuss these, particularly because a taxi firm commissioned them, indicating that there are both economical and environmental advantages. The figures support it. This charging technique can increase battery life by up to eight times. Additionally, while you buy coffee or use the lavatory, these stations can charge your car by 10% or 20% thanks to their 450 kilowatts power transmission. Rain, snow, and mud have little effect on the system. The technique incorporates real-time cloud analytics and holds a patent. Subways can be even noisier than passenger trains, which can have noise levels of 80 or even 90 dB. Despite the lack of statistics, the UN's discussion of city noise has garnered international attention. We need to address noise as it contributes to over 50,000 cases of coronary heart disease annually in Europe alone. Fortunately, a remedy exists. These train tracks reduce noise levels by 20 dB thanks to sleepers and dampers that adapt to specific situations. It's interesting to note that while these enhanced tracks use less concrete, their implementation ends up being 30% less expensive than traditional tracks. On the London to Paris route, Eurostar customers have already seen how successful they are. The best traveler, lightest designs in the world this year's winner in the health category is an amazing protective gadget that's perfect for basketball or volleyball players. It functions similarly to seat belts in cars. A hydraulic mini piston securely fastens a flexible insert around the ankle to prevent damage. This passant piston lasts for at least 4 million steps and activates in milliseconds. You should wear the bandage over the socks for optimal effects. The device weighs only 305 grams and comes in five sizes. Adopting this state-of-the-art sports technology will set you back $334. The U.S. military, especially the U.S. Navy, is taking notice of this drone. Why is it so amazing? It can take off and land vertically. With fuel and payload included, it weighs about 57 kilograms, making it a small aircraft. We anticipate eight hours of flight time on main fuel and an additional hour on reserve fuel. A two-person team can operate the UAV. This vehicle performs well in harsh environments and can reach speeds of over 90 kilometers per hour. The vehicle can withstand temperature extremes ranging from 50 to minus 40 degrees Celsius. The modular architecture allows for the installation of radar systems and other equipment for electromagnetic warfare, but the manufacturers didn't stop there. Given that the gasoline engine did not meet the Marines' requirements, the manufacturers are currently working on upgrading the UAV to a hybrid heavy fuel engine. This device's inventors assert that it is the greatest groundbreaking development in drinking water since the tap. They are addressing a significant issue. 3.6 billion people had trouble getting clean water back in 2018. The question now is whether these individuals can afford the $500 price tag of this equipment. However, for that money, individuals will receive up to 9.5 liters of daily filtered drinking water straight from the air.
This innovative device operates on the condensation principle, draws power from a standard socket, and occupies approximately the same space as a microwave. It ensures not only clean but also delicious water by filtering carbon and silver nanoparticles and remineralizing magnesium. Green technology could be a factor in any machine rebellion. Scientists are already developing cyborg plants, like a Venus flytrap, with electrodes controlled by a computer. That's not all, though. We can now connect sensors to our beloved flowers by growing wires within plants. If one of your flowers notices your cat eating its leaves, it may SMS you. The military could also use bushes on bases to track people's activities. Technology that was once exclusive to science fiction is becoming more prevalent in the real world. However, it appears that we are moving toward biopunk rather than cyberpunk. This is a fascinating advancement for both robots and people. An extra compressed air powered arm. The idea is quite straightforward. The shoes built in pumps deliver air to designated reservoirs, which subsequently let the air enter the arms as needed. The modified limbs lifted 4.5 kilograms satisfactorily during testing. You can wash each part in the washing machine for a reasonable $20 cost. In addition, he's a glove that may make adults feel like kids again, letting them know what it's like to use kid-sized hands to engage with the outside world. The glove only costs a few dollars and provides tactile feedback due to the 3D printing of all its parts. Not only does this glove help researchers, but it also helps toy producers understand how pleasant their goods will be for kids to grip. This robotic mirror redirects sunlight indoors. You may purchase it for $500. In addition to the mirror, the sunlight will provide consumers with a dose of vitamin D, dopamine, and serotonin. According to the producers, all of this will improve their mood, increase their productivity, and help them sleep better. The mirror weighs just 3 kilograms, is solar powered, and monitors the sun itself, making it portable and simple to install. It produces the equivalent of a 100-wood light bulb under ideal circumstances and offers enough illumination for a 46-square-meter space. The business also intends to include wall mounts and a USB Type-C port.